Herb seeds unlock the potential of some of our most favorite plants and start them off on this journey of their amazing life cycle. And for some crops, like the cilantro and dill here, it's the only way to grow them. But for some herbs, they have the ability to skip this step entirely, unlocking unlimited potential in the process. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of the Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we unlock your unlimited potential. And today's video is all about herb cuttings. More specifically, my top five herbs that allow you to skip the seeding process altogether by rooting the cuttings instead. Time short as it always is, so let's get into it. Skipping ahead and growing a plant from cuttings as opposed to seeds has distinct advantages. Lots in fact, but for the sake of this video, here's my top four. Like we said, it's faster, much faster, as you're skipping the majority of the life cycle. Two, it's cheaper, as the only requirements are usually a glass of water and the plant you already have. Three, it's often more reliable and foolproof. And finally, because the cut shoots are a direct clone of the main plant, you can choose the best genetics, the best stock, and keep them going. Not all herbs can do this, like we said, but those that do, do it well. And the number one plant that's the best at doing this by far is mint. Rooting mint is literally the easiest plant to do this with, and if you're just starting out and you want a plant to practice with, mint is your first choice. Another herb that many people don't know that easily roots itself from cuttings is thyme. And it makes sense, because thyme is actually a member of the mint family. Being a somewhat woody perennial, it's not quite as foolproof as mint. Best done in the spring when the shoots are actively growing, try to select the new lush green shoots for the most success. If you've ever had trouble getting those tiny seeds started, thyme cuttings could be the answer for you. For most of our herb cuttings, we're using the tops of the shoots, including several nodes along the stem. But for chives, it's all about those bottoms. Just like with its larger cousin, the green onion, leaving the white root section intact after harvesting is going to allow you to root one of the easiest plants to propagate. Within a week of sitting in just water, these guys explode with brand new white roots. You can keep the cycle going and literally never have to buy a single chive ever again. At number four, we got a bit of a tough one, but it's so worth it. And that's rosemary. The woody stems can be challenging to initially get roots from, but even this is preferable than growing them from seed. Patience, the right time of year, and choosing new lush green shoots seems to be the answer. And finally, our fifth herb on the list to grow from cuttings rather than growing from seed is basil. Also a member of the mint family, basil readily roots from its cut tops, which is great because we're always cutting the tops off of our basil when we properly harvest it. It works so well that by staggering the cuttings every two weeks or so, you'll have an unlimited supply of this pesto powerhouse completely for free. Know what else is completely free? Checking out the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.